Hey there, boys and girls. It's Chili here, back at you with some more Pantrio. Today, we're gonna be we're gonna be wrangling in some nice, sexy UI stuff because I don't like to make UI, and I'm not good at making UI. I want a nice little framework, some packages, some some library, something that I can just pull on and get some, you know, get some UI that looks not super crappy. You know what I mean? So. Uh, this is what I'm looking at, Vutify. It's sort of, I believe, loosely based on material. Uh, and it's got a lot of pre-made view components, dynamic components, all the logic is wired up, nice and configurable. And remember when I, when I went over the basic idea of the project, I said m the main view of the data I wanted was to have different sections, like for example, you know, the kitchen fridge, or um, the, the basement freezer or whatever. And then you could expand them and you'd have the items in there. And that's basically what this is. This expansion panels component is going to do uh, one of the main things that I want. And there's lots of other components in here and it's good and it's sexy. And, uh, um, you know, I might end up regretting it as I often do when I start a project in a framework and then halfway through I realize, oh, this isn't exactly what I expected, but that's part of the learning curve. That's part of the process. That's all part of the fun, right? Uh, so, let me think here. We want to install this stuff. How do we do? Nuxt install. So this has got a pre-made module for Nuxt. Nice and integrated at that level. Not just a view thing, but also a Nuxt thing. So we do it uh, with npm i at nuxt.js view to to phi. And we could probably do this, you know, as d, but I don't care. You know what? I don't give a frat's, a rat's ass about that stuff. It's all the same in the end, as far as I'm concerned. The, uh, the development and the, uh, the, what, the production, it's all the same because we just, in development, we run the command that generates the production files and that's it. So it doesn't matter. All right. Installed. Everything is good, all green. What's next? Okay, so we got to add this to our build modules. And there's a, apparently also a way of configuring, of customizing the uh, Vutify at the top module level, but we won't mess around with that yet. We'll, we'll cut to that when we need to, if we need to, is my philosophy on that stuff. So where is our build modules? Here they are. Next.js, Vutify, we in there. Now, let's look at the actual GitHub page for the Nuxt Beautify project. If we go scroll down here, because I did a little bit of uh, did a little bit of research. If you're using TypeScript, you need to add Nuxt.js Beautify in your compiler options in tsconfig.json. So that's good. I mean, we want TypeScript to be aware of this. I believe this is where we wanted it. Uh, I'll go back and I'll check. But I believe this is where we wanted it. Wait, why you do not like that? What's your problem now? It's not a single... Okay, fine, you... Jerk face. Fair enough. Okay, so we go... No, not this. We don't do this. We do this. Compiler options. Types. Yes. Okay. So, and then we'll be able to have auto-completion in context, which is... I love my auto-completion. One of the main reasons why I like using TypeScript with Vue, or just basically any front-end stuff, is I love my auto-completion. And auto-completion is very wiggy with JavaScript. Very sexy with TypeScript. Okay. All right, now I think what I want to do is just do a quick build, make sure no errors occur with the introduction of our uh, of our Vutify into the project. So we will... It says no issues found. Build time has increased a little bit because Vutify is a pretty uh, pretty big boy. But it also has something called tree shaking, so we should be able to avoid a lot of bloat from components we're not actually using. We'll see. It doesn't matter that much for this project. It's not like we're gonna you know be doing any search engine optimization of this bad boy, but still. So 
Um, Pantrio. Pantrio. It doesn't ever remember the 3000 unless I type it, which is annoying. We're in, and it works. And just test the logic, and it still works. Okay. So, next step is let's actually just test out something with, uh, with this beautify stuff here. So, I don't know, I'll make, another, I'll make a new page in here. Pages, we'll call it uh, Tiffy. Tiffy.view, beautify. And uh, so, every, you know, every um, CSS framework has its own lingo, if you will, bootstrap or beaufy or what have you. I believe, ah, oh, so we have beaufy in here right now. We probably want to get rid of that. Uh, that, I believe, is injected here. So we're going to lose the beaufy, which is going to make our index page uglier. But that's fine. It's just a test. We refresh this. We got a... Whenever you make changes to the actual central config, uh, you have to reload for it to get picked up here. We reload this now, and yeah. So it's it's nice and ugly right now, but that's that's fine. It is what it is. Let's see if we can get some beautify action going here. So, um, section. I don't know if beautify works with sections or if material bootstrap. Material, not material bootstrap. Uh, so, I mean, we'll just get rid of all this stuff. It doesn't really matter. Um, what we want, what we desire is... I wonder if I can get like a good code example in here. So here's the code. Uh, well, it's the, it only shows me the template of the source. Maybe I only need the template of the source and I'm losing my voice. So like, what if I just, you know, copied this directly? Nothing in the script area. Just this. Will it be able to, to load it, or do I need something else here? This is my this is my question to you. V expansion panels. Yay! I don't know why the don't know why. Mm, yeah. Okay. I mean, sure. Yeah, we'll just leave this. We'll see if this works. Um, no issues found. That is my well. That's not really that helpful because I can't remember when I added this file. As far as I can tell, um, make changes to existing files get picked up and recompiled. But adding a new file is maybe not like a new page here maybe will not get picked up. So, we'll see. So it says no issues found. Let's go slash Tiffy. And we have it. It works. Okay. Well, I mean, that was super easy, right? So let's see if we can't get any layout stuff going on in here. So what if I wanted to wrap this in a div dot now, I believe that the way spacing works in um, this crazy... Well, we could look it up, you know? We could look it up. This video is uh, its not coming in too long. We can we can drag it out a little bit. Uh, features, installation, styles and animations. So, uh, spacing. So, yeah. Normally, with, like, bootstrap, you would have, like, P and then some number, and that would put padding all around. And I believe with our boy uh, material, but I believe this is also based on material.io uh, CSS, which means that to put padding around all sides, you do PA, which is, you know, it's nice and systematic, I guess. Uh, I don't know what all these different options mean. I mean, obviously, T is top, B is bottom, left, right. I don't know what S, E, X, Y. I guess X and Y are just um, left, right, top, bottom. I don't know what ES is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is, essay. Uh, but, 
Yeah, so we do PA. We can put a number, and I believe there are more options than you have with Bootstrap, which is nice. Bootstrap only gives you like, I don't know, like five or seven. So, yeah, PA10. So let's do it. Uh, we'll put a div here. Dot MA10. My 10. My wife. And here. And we'll tab that out. So if we do this, now we expect a little more spacing. And I don't see it. You son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, so a little Googling around, I found something here. Someone beautify colors are not showing up. Uh, I found the problem. I had to wrap beautify components inside vApp tag. This seemed promising, so I looked, searched for vApp. And yeah, it says in order your application to work properly, you must wrap it in a vApp component. Which, uh, I mean, it would be nice if they put this in like, you know, for example, the, uh, the setup page on the GitHub or something. I don't know. I'm just saying. It would have been nice. But, anyways. Doesn't matter. Let's try it out. Let us try it out. Um, so, we'll just put vapp in here. We can also put it in the base layout that all the pages go into. In Nuxt, you can specify layouts. And it's a good time. So, if we put this under vapp now. Perhaps... You know, these kinds of um, specifiers, they only work if it's under vApp. I don't know. You know, I don't know. It's a learning experience. And here you go. We've got our margin now. And if I uh, increase this to the original 10 that we were looking at. Yeah. Okay. So things are looking good. I didn't, I mean, it took a little while to figure it out. Would have been nice if they had a little mention somewhere. There was a mention in the setup, but... I kind of skipped down to the next part of the setup, right? So, yeah, it happens. It happens. Now, uh, let's go back to what I was trying to do, which I believe was our bad boy. Uh, what is it called? Expansion panels? That is what I, that is, I believe that is what it is. And we'll just copy all this. Now we'll, we'll copy this part, not the part with template. And we'll put our expansion panels inside of this. And I believe we want to tab this out. Yeah, okay. Sure, save. Let's see here. And there we go. We have inside of our card, we have our expansion panels component and we can expand the different sections, the different panels, and it's all good. Okay, so today, uh, we learned we need to put the V app in there. So I think what I will do in the next video, I'll be taking a stab at creating a, a simple mock-up of the, uh, the interface for the most basic functionality that we want to work on first. I'll get, a, I'll get an interface going up first of all so that we'll have an actual graphical interface with which we can test our back-end logic when we implement it. So I'll get that going. I'll also create a, uh, a layout for our pages that will, you know, put this vApp in here and every, everyone will be happy. It's going to be a good time. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button and I will see you soon with some more Pantrio.